what's going on guys Swaggy Yellow Gamer here and this is my review of the Razer Forge TV now uh, Razer was having a sale a while back for for $99 you got the Razer Forge TV and two controllers with it I was like hey you know what's awesome saving money so I went ahead I bought it then um, so I've had it for a while now and this is my review so it comes in uh, this little black box and when you open it up inside you see the controller and the fact that you've now joined a cult. The Forge TV comes in its own little black cardboard box. Opening it up reveals pamphlets, hooray, the Forge TV itself, an AC adapter, cord for the AC adapter, and instructions that I totally read. Then this is what everything will look like after you've opened up all the boxes. And these are the specs on the Razer Forge TV for the nerds who care. For ports, we have the charger, Ethernet, HDMI, and USB 3.0. And on the bottom, there's rubber for grip. Build quality on the Forge is pretty nice. It's all black with the Razer logo etched in, and it features a green LED. Top is surface, doesn't show fingerprints, but the sides do. It looks good when you set it up, and it's easy enough to debut, depending on how the rest of your setup works. But one thing I don't like about the aesthetics is that there's no chroma lighting. Come on, Razer! The performance on the Forge TV is really good. The specs don't sound too fantastic compared to computers, but because it's an Android device, it runs apps, and especially Android games, really well. In terms of performance, it's better than a Fire Stick, and about on par with a Fire Box. There's really nothing in the App Store demanding enough to slow down either the Firebox or the Forge TV. Here you can see my sister and I playing Bomb Squad on our TV, and the game ran very smoothly, and I couldn't really think of anything more demanding. Oh, and I uh, tested anime out on it, and yep, that works awesome! <laughs> One feature of the Forge is the remote app. It comes in both Android and iOS flavors. It's a great layout. It has a great layout, but it does tend to hang a lot. You can only have one remote controlling at a time, and the game controllers have priority over the app. It's running the TV version of Android, so apps like Video Chef, Amazon, and iTunes aren't available. Uh, the biggest app that is missing is Netflix. Uh, it really hurts this thing, you know, being a streaming device to not have it. It does, however, have Hulu and Crunchyroll. So again, anime runs great. As of the finishing of this video, the Razer Forge TV is not available to buy from the Razer store, and it's not available to buy from first party sellers on Amazon. I, uh, I was wondering if this video was taking too long, and I think I got my answer. Subscribe!